playing your dream game always seems like a good idea when you're learning game development. But it might not be the smartest thing to do and in this video I will talk a little bit about this. First of all, if a dream game is something like Flappy Bird, then I would just say go for it. But for most people, when you talk about the dream game, it's usually something very big and something that will take a lot of time and effort to build. And when I say a lot of time, it usually means a year or even more. Maybe just six months, but that's also a very long time. It's very hard to resist the urge to start building something you really want. But trust me, it's a mistake if you don't have a lot of experience. At least it shouldn't be your first project. Learn to finish things. What usually happens when you're aiming too high is that you start off with a lot of ideas, you work like crazy for a long time and then after a while you will probably re realize that your dream game requires a lot of work. But it is your dream game so you just keep pushing on and working a lot of hours. And after a while, after that again, you maybe get buried with too much work, too many things you have to do, you have to learn a lot of new things and maybe it's not even possible to build the game the way you want it to do in the first place. And this leads to you getting burnt out or just simply losing motivation to build more and learn more. So what should you do? How to fix this? Try to build small games, get used to the idea of finishing things and celebrate once you have done that. If you build something small like Flappy Bird or something small games like that, it's a big win. When you finish something, it's a really big deal. So get some experience under your belt. I'm not saying that it's impossible to build your dream game as your first game, but usually it's too big to handle. If you build a few small games first, get some feedback on them from other people and similar, you might discover weaknesses and similar of your ideas, how you solve things and similar. And by building stuff, you get better at programming, design and similar and you will get a better understanding of different parts of the game development. And this will hopefully make it easier for you to build the game of your dreams. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please hit like below. If you want more content like this, you need to subscribe to my channel and also remember to click the bell to get notifications when there are new videos. See you in the next video.